To keep vaccines safe, they must be kept at the right temperatures. But temperature sensitivities can vary among different vaccines. Why do temperatures matter? Vaccines are sensitive products. All vaccines are sensitive to heat. Some are sensitive to freezing and others to light. Take OPV, which is extremely sensitive to heat. When this vaccine is exposed to temperatures above 8 degrees Celsius over time, it loses its potency. That means it becomes less effective at protecting a child from polio. This change in the vaccine is irreversible. What are the correct temperatures for vaccines and diluents? At district and health facility levels, all vaccines, whether they are liquid or freeze-dried or lyophilized, should be kept between 2 degrees and 8 degrees Celsius. They can be stored for up to a one-month period. This does not change when a vaccine leaves a facility for an outreach session. Vaccines should remain between 2 degrees and 8 degrees Celsius before, during, and after a session. At higher levels, such as national and subnational levels, oral polio vaccines and freeze-dried or lyophilized vaccines can be frozen stored between negative 15 and negative 25 degrees Celsius. We've covered vaccines, but what about diluents? A diluent packaged with the vaccine should be stored in a refrigerator between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius. Diluents supplied separately may also be stored in the refrigerator if there is adequate space to keep them at the same temperature as the vaccine. One rule holds true for all diluents. They should never be frozen. All vaccines are sensitive to heat, but they vary in sensitivity. Vaccines are grouped into six categories to describe their relative sensitivity. Those in group A are most sensitive to heat. Note that the heat sensitivity shown for freeze-dried vaccines applies to unopened vials. Once they are reconstituted, they lose potency quickly. For example, BCG vaccine is not one of the most sensitive to heat before reconstitution. But after reconstitution, it is one of the most sensitive to heat. While all vaccines are sensitive to heat, several vaccines are also sensitive to freezing. These vaccines should be protected from sub-zero temperatures, which means they should never be placed in a freezer or a carrier with frozen ice packs. If they are exposed to freezing temperatures, use the shake test to see if they have been damaged. Rubella is one of several vaccines that are sensitive to light. These vaccines lose potency when exposed to sunlight or strong artificial light. To protect them from light damage, these vaccines are often supplied in dark glass vials. In addition, they should be kept in their secondary package for as long as possible throughout the cold chain. In this video, you reviewed why vaccines should be kept at the right temperatures and at what temperatures vaccines should be kept. You also learned that all vaccines are sensitive to heat, but they vary in sensitivity. And you reviewed which vaccines are sensitive to freezing and to light. You are now better able to protect the vaccines you deliver to children in your area.